Look at that blue tongue. Its tongue is blue. Oh, this girl's actually laying right now. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. What do you say we check for some colubrid eggs just to get the day started, you know what I mean? Look at this animal right here. She doesn't have any eggs, but man, oh man, is she beautiful. That is actually an anaconda hognose. We have a bunch of animals that are really close to due to laying. This is a Mexican black king here, but as you can see, there are no eggs. So I'm just gonna kind of walk through with you guys. This one's just a couple more days away, so we don't even have to check that. And that's the one thing that's nice about this. You can see this is due on the 29th. This one is actually due, could be laying any minute so we'll take a look and see if we can find any eggs in there nope looks like she might be getting ready to lay my gut feeling is she'll probably lay tonight for sure oh i see some eggs i see some eggs oh this girl's actually laying right now okay we literally caught her in the act so we'll go ahead we'll shut that down and we'll come back later on tonight and grab those eggs yeah first clutch of the day let's see what else we have here anything else those guys aren't due those guys aren't due you can see a lot of these red tags don't have due date yet that means they haven't shed which just basically means that they're obviously not due this girl is doing a little bit later oh this one might go this is a scaleless texas rat snake right here so let's just take a little peek oh it definitely looks like she's ready to go anytime but she She's got no eggs yet. Let's see what else we've got here. Well, I tell you what, I was expecting a handful of clutches because we had a few things that were really close to being due, but so far, not much. This down here is actually a really big female corn snake. Let's see if she's got anything. Nope, nothing there. Boy, is she a pretty snake, and she is definitely loaded up with a lot of eggs, so she should be laying any time off. We'll just keep on looking. Hopefully, we'll find more. So I went through this whole side, and we've only got that one clutch that's being laid. No other eggs that are actually done being laid, so we'll see if there's anything on this side again just looking at dates more than anything if it's not close to the date there's no sense in checking this is actually a head scaleless corn should be due anytime nope she's still in the egg box doesn't have any eggs i tell you what is this going to be one of those days where there's hardly any eggs that's really weird because we have so many females that are due this girl's not even in the box. She's right behind here. Oh, she's pretty too. She's an Abbott's Okatee head scale. It's absolutely gorgeous. We'll take a look at this. Uh, this is another Okatee out of the box. So uh, I tell you what, there's one more potential for a clutch here. And then that is it. We'll take a peek. Nope, how strange is that? But that's okay, we did get one clutch. I'll definitely check downstairs, see if we have any python eggs as well. Before I check on eggs in the dungeon, I wanted to kind of update you guys on my beautiful salt here. Of course, it's been a while since I've kind of showed some of these animals off over here. Salt is obviously getting really big. Look at how amazing she looks. She is just such an incredible animal, eating like a pig. And like I mentioned before, we actually only put them out in these displays. We're open to the public. And the reason for that is, is that it's really hard to access them because we have to access them from the back and you kind of have to go in blindly. Really, to be honest with you, it was a really bad design on my part. So what we're doing is we're actually redoing these cages so that they have front sliders so we can actually open them up and then we'll probably keep salt and pepper out here on public all of the time. That way, not only during the week, we can feed them in here and kind of get them trained so that when people come to the Reptarium, they can start feeding salt and pepper, not just the normal alligators, but also we'll get a chance to be able to access them a lot more. And it'll probably be even a little bit less stress. The fact that they live off exhibit all week and then get into an exhibit during the week is probably a little bit stressful for them. Nevertheless, they're doing amazing. I cannot tell you how happy I am. You guys remember how nervous I was when Salt was a baby. It's great to see her grow so much. She is unbelievable. Then, of course, there's Pepper. Look at this chunky monkey right here. He is getting absolutely huge. You got to remember, he's about six weeks older than Salt, so of course he's going to be a little bit bigger, and it's really neat to see as he grows more of that kind of steel blue look coming through but he still has those solid black eyes. This guy is unbelievable. And I've said it before that he's not nearly as calm as Salt is. But I think as long as we keep handling him, you can see I'm not even restraining him at all. He's fine. He'll move around a little bit, but he doesn't try to bite or anything. So we're going to have to continue to work with him. Again, when we get these new enclosures that front open, we'll be able to work with him a lot more because he'll kind of be available all the time to take out and stuff like that. So regardless, I figured you guys would like a little update on Salt and Pepper. Now we say it's all the million mundane things that go on that I probably don't highlight nearly enough. Right, Kelsey? You're having fun today. Oh boy, am I. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna watch all these stuff here. Uh, looks like you already have a bunch of them here. And that's basically what happens is as we're starting to hatch, we've got to have clean tubs for everything. Not to mention once we sell animals, those cages have to be clean. So poor Kelsey has the job of just kind of washing all these things here today. But again, it's all these things that are so important. I'm very lucky to have a crew that's willing to do not only the fun stuff, but also the very mundane stuff. 
We just put a cave gecko actually on display here at the Reptarium, and this is its little cage. So where is that little monkey at? Right under that oh, look at how <laughs> cute it is. Oh my God, that looks absolutely incredible. And this cage is really kind of cool for it. You said that they sometimes climb and everything, right? Yeah, so the, they live in caves, obviously. That's right. why they're called cave geckos. So they'll climb the rocks. So I thought this little cage would be perfect for That's it. That's absolutely cool. Now, what's the difference in care between like a leopard gecko and a cave gecko? I actually think these guys are a little easier. Okay. Uh, you don't have to keep them so warm. You can keep them more like room temperature. You don't need any like extra light or anything for them which is nice and they eat crickets than cool. that like you keep them a little more humid they're pretty much the same care as a leopard that's awesome so this is the first time that we're going to be open at the reptarium with a little cave gecko so hopefully people will enjoy this cute little monkey right there although calcium would have to be just washing tubs eric you don't have the most exciting job today too right what are you doing i, I don't know i would say it's pretty exciting because i get to go through every cage and see every snake again and well it's changing water you know it could be a dirty job but it's it's worth it <laughs> yeah they do have to drink it that's something that we have to do once a week we change every water to fresh water and then of course every day that we spot clean if there's a dirty water we change it as well so uh lots of little cups over here all these have to go in new cages yes right? sir yep and then you see kelsey's washing over there so i have to get my water from next door so i'm really oh my gosh the buckets me? of water today it's okay <laughs> oh it's okay oh it's all right God. all right well that's the, the bhb workout plan <laughs> Down here in the dungeon, and unbelievably, we do not have any clutches. No ball pythons, no skinks. I mean, it is an unusual day, to be honest with you, this time of year with as many animals as we have grabbed, that we don't have any clutches, or we only have the one Galuber clutch, but no clutches down here. Look at this Puma ball python. I mean, she is just absolutely spectacular. And some of these animals are kind of bull hugging, which is just something that they do in advance of laying and stuff like that. This is actually a Super Lori pinstripe. So that's pretty exciting, because we haven't produced a ton of super lorry stuff so this year looks really good this is another animal that should produce some supers as well and this is actually a lorry leopard ball python and she's actually bred to a lorry so we could get some super lorry leopards so definitely a lot of good stuff but like i said i have a feeling tomorrow and the next day are probably going to be big days when it comes to production because it is unusual not to have any eggs this time of year we are open tonight at the reptarium which means we have to do all our maintenance as early as we possibly can bruce is over here you're doing waters today oh yeah ready okay. to rock it waters we gotta get clean waters of course spot clean everything Jessica's over there doing some food uh, all the normal maintenance here Andrew's actually off today so it's just Bruce Jessica myself and Lori tonight at the Reptarium but it's gonna be an amazing time down in the dungeon I might as well update you guys because a few people have been asking what's been going on with the emerald tree boa this is that one that we actually tube fed some AD as well as flagell and I tell you what she has unbelievably turned around like I had mentioned she had regurgitated a couple times and that's what caused my vet to prescribe the medication to tube it and since then it's been eating on its own no regurgitation looking really good definitely putting body weight on again so pretty soon probably within the next couple weeks we'll move her back over to the reptarium because she's doing really well as far as the other emerald tree boa she She's doing really good too, but she's going to be in quarantine for at least another couple months. Since we don't have a bunch of eggs to show you, I figured I'd meet back up with Eric here and see a few animals that you're excited about raising up. He's because, so you know, excited. basically, you know, I don't get a chance to really check in on a lot of things that he's raising up because I've got so many other things going on. So sometimes when he shows me stuff, I get as excited as you guys do. So let's check it out. First one, I want to start out with this blizzard corn. Okay. You know, it's kind of a popular animal, but I mean, just look at it. It is absolutely incredible. And you guys remember those cobras that Brian was messing with? This reminds me of that for the fact that you can almost like see through them. You know what I mean? You can see like the little, little bit of poop in there or whatever. You can just kind of see right through them. You know, they're almost see through. It's, it's really cool, really cool. This Amazon tree boa, it's not on the razors. I just, I keep telling Lori, she writes a number on there on race and I hide it. So no one buys it. <laughs> Good job. That's what Look I at this. Do. Yeah, you, you just gotta like hide it. pretty quick. Yep, learn from the best. This guy's a little feisty, but he just keeps getting more and more color. Dude, look at that. Oh look at that green and red. That thing is rich. Christmas came early, huh? <laughs> Oh so God. cool, so cool. Yeah, we gotta definitely raise I, that one up. It would look so good next door, seriously. Yeah, no, that's it. That is one gorgeous animal. I love Amazon tree boas. We only have a few adults, so to raise up another one is just a no-brainer for sure until we have babies this year, and maybe we'll hang on to a few of those. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys these red tail green rat snakes. Now, I, I don't know if we're gonna sell these or raise them up. I'm hoping we're raising them up. I think we're gonna raise these up, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I bought them to raise them up. 
Uh, but man, these things are Look at ridiculous. that blue tongue. Its tongue is blue. It is ridiculous. And I love the way the tongue comes out super slow, almost like wags like a dog, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh Reminds God. me of like a green mamba or something, you know? Just, just really cool animal. You can see they kind of like puff their neck out there. Uh, they get agitated very easy, but they're just, they're, they're so cool. I love like arboreal kind of snakes, you know? They're, they're just sweet, what can I say? For the last one, I'm sure you guys know the rhino rats. These guys are growing up. They're actually starting to change color. I know it doesn't look like it, but they're kind of starting to get green on the top. He's, oh, he's a feisty little guy there. But uh, these guys were just solid gray. But maybe it's because I see them every day, you can kind of start to tell that they're uh, getting kind of that green color. Just got these guys switched over to pinky, so they're gonna start growing oh, really awesome. fast. One says, uh, always evolving python soul. We're not gonna send no, it to I think it. No, I think we it yeah, got no. out. It you got, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it. Miguel. Uh, <laughs> no, we do have to send. I've been telling Miguel forever I'm gonna send him one, so that's awesome. So that's just a few animals I wanted to kind of update you with Eric on. There are a ton. I mean, you raised up, I don't know, a couple hundred snakes yes. last year, so yeah, there's a sure. lot of cool snakes. So for maybe sure. one Day. Let me know in the comments if you want us to go through and show you everything that Eric was raising up that'll hopefully be ready to breed next year. So, uh, thank you, Eric. I Dude, no it. problem. About 10 or 12 minutes before we open up, but I saw a bunch of people out here, so I decided to come out, just hang out for about 10 or 15 minutes while everyone's getting the reptarium together, and then we'll open up. We'll have a good night. Thank you guys for coming so early. We're gonna have a good time tonight, right? Right. All right, good, right. good. good, good. A few things that showed up at the P.O. box, so we're gonna go ahead and open them up. This one says, please open on the vlog. So okay. uh, go ahead and open this up. This, this is tie-dye tie earth. Tie earth. Tie -dye earth. Pam. Oh, well, thank you, Pam. As a matter of fact, I wonder if this is, remember when I said someone sent me some shirts? I wonder if this happens like to be a shirt. Some... It feels like yeah. it's a shirt. Let's see what it looks like. Is it tie-dye? I like tie-dye. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanna get those tie-dye. Oh, it is tie-dye. Oh, doggy. That's a nice one. What does it Ooh, say? that actually is nice. Is it gonna be one of those I like her shirts. Oh. No, I think it's just tie dye. That's oh. awesome. She makes that. Actually, and oh this is obviously her tortoise. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Pam. I appreciate it. That's awesome. We got right. a flag here. Right, let me like get from this a one. flag company or something. Let me get this one. What? I don't know. That's what it says. United it, States flag. Probably just the box. It might just be the box. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what do you think it is? Who's this from? Okay. William Thompson. Do you want to read this? Yeah. Oh, oh my God! It really oh, is a flag. Wait oh. a second. This is this is legit. This is really legit. What okay, is so this is uh, dear Brian, Laura, the crew. I'd first like to thank you oh for all God. the great things you're doing for the community and having these educational experiences for the youth and positive interactions with the animals. My five-year-old daughter introduced me to your channel a couple years ago, and I got hooked ever since. I have a huge phobia of snakes. Because of you, I've grown a great deal of respect and overcame this fear. That's awesome. I recently returned from deployment in Iraq and Kuwait. I watch your vlog every day while I was away, and I'm a member of the Iowa Army National Guard CH-47 Chinook Helicopter Mechanic. Uh, I had a flag flown for you to show the appreciation for all the great things you have done. I've got chills right now, by the way. <laughs> the flag was flown in the back of a CH-47 F Chinook helicopter during a combat mission in Iraq. Wow. I don't even know what to say about That's this. Crazy. I mean, wow. And is this the flag then? Yeah, this is the, flag, the flag that flag. flew. Yeah. I, uh, if That's you guys crazy. notice, there's a flag in my office right here that was also flown by a Marine that sent it to me. You have no idea how much these mean to me. I'm gonna get the same exact box here and I'm gonna go ahead and put that up on my wall too. So thank you. That, I mean that, crazy. wow, wow. Wow. Thank you for your service, my yeah, guy. Thank you so much, seriously. Everyone that serves the country, or any country for that matter, you guys are amazing, so. And it is that time for some fun. Let's go ahead and open up the reptile. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Ready, Lauren? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome, guys. Come on in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming early, guys. I appreciate it. Have fun in there. Hey, guys, thank you. Come on in. Come on in. How are you? <laughs> Hi, I'll see you in there in a second, all right? Definitely having a good time. A lot of families coming out tonight and just kind of holding animals. Uh, I love it. It's, again, just one of those things that each night is so cool. They kind of meet all kinds of new people. We've had people that traveled into Pennsylvania, Ohio, handful of other places already, and the night has just begun. My buddy came and brought some rainbow trout uh, that you had caught to feed Elvis. So let's go ahead and see what Elvis thinks. Elvis, guess what? Guess what, bud? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
There you go. There it is. Oh, oh he's yeah. gonna slap some fish juice around on us. Huh? <laughs> Elvis, that's a big meal, buddy. That's a big meal. Oh, it's gonna be a big meal. Oh, oh yeah, the perfect size. Oh, for like a pelican, just like a pelican. Oh, well, here, you know what? Step around okay, the go ahead. Here. You're not talking to everybody else. Okay, go ahead. Argus. Okay, go ahead. Come on, get over here. Okay, good job. All right. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. Good to go. Love it. Oh my gosh. Argumus absolutely loved those yeah, fish. That was awesome. Somebody's hungry. <laughs> Somebody thought he'd uh, eat my finger. So now I got two best friends. Oh my gosh. You guys killed the fight. I'm definitely on there. Pretty good. All right, well, good. Better you than anyone else, right? Isn't that the truth, yeah. This is the first time he's met anybody, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't sure. think that it's ever done that before. So. Yeah, I know, I'm lucky like that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather him take the bite than someone that came in, so good job, Bruce. Taking a break from the ref term to get back to this het white-sided brooks that was actually bred to an anathristic het white-sided, and it looks like she has a gorgeous clutch of eggs. Hoo-hoo, doggy. I tell you what, that clutch of eggs looks absolutely incredible. Look at the beautiful eggs right there. I tell you what, you know, back in the day, we used to produce a ton of Brooks King snakes, but now we hardly produce any of them. So it's really cool to get a couple clutches already this year. And we have a handful more females that are due to lay too. So that's super excited. And again, we'll always take out the sheds. We'll get some water in with mama. She looks really good. Really good job, mama. Let's count how many eggs. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 good eggs. Oh my God, that is absolutely incredible. I tell you what, it wasn't a very big egg day here, but hey, at least we got one clutch of eggs today, and that's all that really matters. And like I said, I have a feeling tomorrow's gonna be a big egg day because there was a bunch of females that were due to lay that didn't lay today. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these guys set up, get them processed, get back over to the Reptarium, and finish out the night. As we're winding down the night here at the Reptarium, just a handful of people left. We got Argumus out, Bruce, we got Argumus out. What a difference, huh? Dude, he is so chill right now. I can't even tell you. Like, well, I mean, comparatively. I mean, obviously, he's not too happy about me holding him right now, but. Golly, it took like nothing to get him out. It's, it's awesome. Crazy. Again, that's that training, that target training. He knows if he doesn't see a ball, there's not food, and he's a really food aggressive animal. So awesome to see arguments go that way. And listen, I think I'm going to end on that note, guys. So I hope you have an amazing day. You guys are incredible, and I love you so much. Be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you tomorrow.